Recently, I was doing a code review where there was a feature in that alphanumeric sorting was required. Alphanumeric sorting, in a sense, a string that is having both alphabet and the number. And if you want to sort it out, you have to consider both alphabets and the numbers. As you are seeing it on my screen that we have some unsorted strings over here. There is EV11, then EV2, 73, 54, 81, 12. Ideally, if you want to sort them, they should be like this. First EV2 should go, then EV11 should come, then EV12, then EV54, then EV73, and finally EV81. Now this is alphanumerically sorted, right? Now if you want to do the same thing in JavaScript, there are multiple ways to do it. The code, I was reviewing it, it looked humongous to me. And I've also seen the similar kind of indications in the Stack Overflow answers. But in modern JavaScript, there are multiple different but better ways to achieve the same. Please subscribe to TubeScript so that you don't want to miss out the content that I create. There is also a QR code you can scan to catch hold of my other socials and if you want to connect to. Let us now get into the code to learn how to accomplish this alphanumeric sorting with JavaScript's own API in much more modern way. We have now taken an array of string. The string contains both alphabets and the numeric numbers. So I can do a sort method on top of it. The default sort method that I have, which is like arr.sort sort, what does it do? The default sort order will be the ascending order and how it works basically, whatever the array elements are there, that will be first converted to a string if it is a number that also will be converted to a string and then the comparison will happen based on the sequence of the utf 16 character value that's how the sort works so if i do this array dot sort it is going to return me something but this is not sorted the way that we like you can still see that this one is not sorted in a way where ev2 comes in the front and then the next one comes and accordingly okay what if i write the comparator for example i can write a comparator like this and I can return a minus b there is no impact at all the output still remains same it is because now we have to use a special method a special option we need to pass into our sort function so that the alphanumeric sort can happen properly javascript string has a method called local compare using that method you can compare two strings in their local aware fashion for example here I'm comparing two strings, EV11 and EV73, and it returns a number that indicates whether a particular string come before or after into the sequence or the sort order. That's how it does. So as it is returning minus one, as you are able to see, it means that EV11 will come before EV73. Now the great part about local compare method is not only you can do local aware comparison, but along with that, you can also pass a bunch of options. One of the option is to tell that the comparison should happen, keeping the number into consideration. It means you can now create a comparator like this, sort alphanumeric equals to a comparator function is what I'm writing. Here I can do a dot local compare and then I can pass B and after passing B, I can pass the local my current local is e in english and then or if you don't want to pass it you can pass undefined and then pass certain options over here one of the options that we are interested in in this video is called numeric n u m e r i c colon true that's it this is what is our comparator function is i'll press enter now as i have the comparator function I can take the array before i was doing like this sort it was not giving me the desired result now I'll be passing this comparator that I just now created, sort an. Now can you see the output? You have e2 first, then you have e11, then e12, e54, e73, e81. This is how you want it, right? So this is the method, this is the modern way of doing it, where you can use this numeric thing, this particular option, do a local compare, create a comparator, pass the comparator into a sort function and get the alphanumeric sorting done. But hold on, when I look into the MDN doc of 
string prototype local compare the function or the method just now we have seen i see this paragraph it says when comparing large number of strings such as in sorting large arrays it is better to create a collator object and use the function provided by its compare method so it is saying that the local compare is great it works but if you have too many items in your array to compare for our example local compare perfectly works but if you have too many huge number of elements in your array that time you might face some kind of performance issue so in that matter instead of using local compare we should use collator this is inside the javascript intl package this is another modern package that everyone should look into as a javascript of the web developer there are a lot 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 of things to offer from here and from there use a the compare method to do it so let's see this also as an example with the same array that we are dealing with for using intl.collator we have to first create a compare function definition and then can pass the compare function into the sort method of the array right so for that let us create it called coll any name you can give new intl dot collator over here you can pass the local that you are supporting for us local is not the focus in this video you can pass your current local which is en for me or undefined and then you have to pass the similar kind of options that we have done for local compare so i'm going to copy this this, this numeric colon true from here and going to replace this empty option with that and after this you just call the compare function that's it now if i do coll coll basically a function you can see this this is a function now similarly how i had passed this comparator into the sort before when we gave local compare example similarly over here also i can do arr dot sort and i can pass coll this particular comparator I'm going to get a sorted array once again, EV2, EV11, EV12, 54, 73, 81, right? So the long story short, instead of finding a solution which is very old, very verbose, very big, you can try finding the solution that is there in the modern JavaScript. JavaScript is introducing a lot of APIs which are really modern, can get your job done much, much quickly. Try to look into them as much as possible. Today we learned two things. One is local compare and passing the numeric true as an option. Another is intl.collator along with this compare function where there also we passed the numeric true as an option and got the job done. I hope you like this video. If so, please press the like button and put a comment letting me know like if it was helpful. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being with Upper Script. Please subscribe. We'll be back again soon with another video. Thank you.